The Wisconsin Department of Health Services says 79% of people who have gotten the virus have recovered. Even so, people continue to deal with surprising health problems. In a story you'll see only on 27 News, AJ Biopour checks back in with an Iowa County woman who says she's technically recovered from COVID-19, but is still dealing with the effects of the virus. Yep. Lana Towsley says she's made some progress from when we saw her in early June. I can go a little bit longer without oxygen, but when I'm up moving around, I still have to have it. We return to her home in Avoca, where Towsley says she just returned to work Monday after three months off. She says it was another reminder of how far she still has to go. It's frustrating. I'm normally very active at work, out on the floor a lot. Um, that's not the case right now. Um, tried doing that. I ended up having to go into my office and sit on oxygen for a while because I kind of pushed it. UW-Madison Population Health Sciences Professor Ajay Sethi says stories like Towsley's illustrate why hospitalization and recovery rates paint an incomplete picture. It may not land you in the hospital or cause you to die, but there's clotting issues, some neurological issues associated with this, with this virus, and I think it's just best to avoid it altogether. For Towsley, the long-lasting effects of COVID-19 are literally everywhere she goes. Everybody's different. Um, this isn't like the flu. You get over it, you go back to your normal life. I'm not back to my normal life yet. Um, we don't even know. This may be my new normal. Towsley says while she did return to work this week, she can only do half days at this point. She hopes to eventually lose the oxygen tank, but she says her doctors don't know when or if that will happen.